I wrote that se sequence and I couldn't play it for a month. <laughs> really? Yeah. I couldn't play it for a month. And then I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna make a keyboard do it. And the day I programmed the synth to do it was the day I figured out that I could do it on guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, we get both. How do I do this? Yeah. The only pressure I ever feel when writing is actually just trying to outdo myself, you know, to make a really strong body of work that that represents all of us and represents the brand and and is like you know, there's enough wind in the sail to carry the whole team for however long. It's more motivation than anything. The only pressure I feel is um, self-imposed from perfectionism and from just trying to outdo everything I've ever done before. Because I, you may not, but if you aren't trying, then you may as well. You might as well hang it up. Technically, ox guitar. We're gonna we're gonna call Josh's uh, lead too. Mm -hmm. Boom! Huge, huge. Put nexus on the damn board. Huge. Oh, there it goes. That's twenty twenty in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I see like a playground with the fucking caution tape and the swings all like tied up and like mangled, yeah. it's just like oh, it's twenty twenty. There it is. Twenty twenty. There it is. That's how I feel. And look. Uh, recording this is really cool. It's not really uh, any sort of style of music I've done before, and it's uh, because of that. There's like it imposes these challenges, but it's also not so much different than what I've done now that I'm like in the thick of it. He was really excited to like do something outside sonically uh, than his genre. Like a lot of the records in this genre have a very specific, like like very particular sound. The same few dudes are doing them, and he was like, you know what? Even though you're like more of a rock guy and you focus on vocals, I want you to bring those like, those parts of it to this record. And I thought that was an interesting way to look at it. I've done records where I've been hired to do engineering, but I've, and you know, like, oh, I'm engineering just the drums in this record or just the guitars and then everything else is being done. But really being the producer on a record like this is a little strange. Like today was a good example. We brought Nathan in to talk about every idea because I'm not gonna be there to do drums. So it's a matter of like, making sure what Aaron and I have established for the record gets properly delivered when drums get done, which it will, because at least Aaron's gonna be there. But the bass thing, especially with like, <clears throat> Jacob not being able to come up, I was definitely a little bit worried until I said like right before, like until I heard like his rough bass stuff, I was like, no, it's cool. As long as we can just be, he starts, he starts tonight. So as long as we can be here tomorrow and the next day to like pull them in, listen to them, make notes, send it back, it's, Definitely not an ideal way, but it's still the most creative version to solve that problem at the end of the day. There he is. Hello, sir. Fuck Hello. you. Hey, look, uh, look who's here. I don't know that I'm gonna be here when you start, um, but that's fine. Hey, well, the only thing I did on the bass is I rolled the mids back on the bass a little bit, but that's what I've been doing. Okay. Like, so do. Like, do what you've been doing, yeah? Or, so when we finish a track, do who do you want me to like? Do you want me to send over the DIs to you or no? Just toss, them, toss them in that box. Put them back in the Dropbox. Like so make, make a folder. Call make it. a folder and call it uh, like you know final days. Yeah, we're gonna be in here still pumping away at songs. So just send me stuff when you got it. Yeah, exactly. If there's any like things you want to change, just give me a shout on here and we'll be good. Perfect. Good All right, dude. Buddy. Later, boys. All right, see ya. See ya. Peace. It's kind of fucked up that I would be gearing up to play this live in like a month. I think originally it was supposed to be like November we were supposed to do the tour. Yeah, I was supposed to be in Canada maybe like last week, the track. A month ago, they just said, all right, flat out, like no one's allowed in. Same thing with like Europe, like we're just not allowed. Understandably. That's the best part is that like the first time I'm on an Intervals record, we can't even play the music live for a minute. So I've worked with Sam for, Sam, when did we start working? Like when did we do our first Dark Glass video? Like 2018 probably? Yeah, 2018. yeah so I've been, I've been working with Sam on like all my Dark Glass videos. 
we've tracked an album or two together and like he's just like my number one dude to track with i know it's gonna sound good i'm confident mm. that he knows what i want in my takes and yeah it's no brainer so i'm actually really excited to be working with sam it's just not the best circumstances as opposed to working with the other sam in canada and having aaron and nathan there but again i'm really excited about how this record's turning out and you know you gotta roll with the punches <laughs> I think he's done it. Holy fuck. That is um, years and years and years of uh, packing trailers will pay off somehow, some way. You know? There we go. Is he wearing a mask? Yes! Yo! That's yes! so sick. Yes! That's amazing. And even our fruit wear masks, okay? <laughs> and this is the first time Dean has worked on an intervals project. We spent a week in Ottawa with Dean in his home studio, which is amazing. I mean, you just can't beat working with a guy who has 10 years of experience in that room. I think, you know, probably double if not triple that overall. The guy's been, you know, doing audio for the majority of his life. He's a living legend. He's an absolute pro. He knows drums so well. So when you, comp you, know, when you complement that with and combine that with a drummer who, you know, hits as hard as Nathan does, plays as musically as he does, you know, uh, and can get such an amazing performance out of a drum kit, plus a guy like Dean who just knows how to record a phenomenal sounding drum set, then you just get, you know, it's like, uh, it's an award winning combo yeah, in my opinion. No, this all felt pretty nice. symbol like if I'm going to the China which is a little more explosive yeah so if I hit the symbol before it as the crash one of the crashes and then that last hit this time around was okay. probably like the most open-ended we've we've done I mean this is the second time Nathan's recorded on an intervals uh, project um, the last time I think we you know we sort of went back and forth a little bit more in advance with Nathan playing his ideas into an e-kit and then me sort of scrutinizing the MIDI and sort of massaging ideas back and forth. This time, other than just like hanging out a little bit and sort of talking about the songs and having a day here in the studio with Sam before recording, we kind of didn't really know what we were in store for. And I trusted that Nathan was just going to, you know, bring his best performance and best ideas. And uh, I hadn't heard or seen a thing until the first downbeat of the, like, the very first song. I left a lot more room for him to, for his personality to come through and, you know, not scrutinize, you know, as much as, as previously. So, yeah, did an amazing job. And uh, we're all very, very excited about the way it sounds. Like I, I, I'm gonna say it's my favorite, favorite drum performance and recording that we've achieved yet. being on this planet right now a lot of uncertainty in the year 2020 as far as the silver lining goes here you know very fortunate to be able to channel a lot of that into a body of work 
And I personally feel that the time was ultimately validated by being able to show everybody, you know, what's been sort of culminating over the last couple of years in my brain. This whole release and this whole body of work is just like a big exhale. It serves to speak to ideas that I've been having and that are personal to me, but also something that I think everyone can take something away from. And what a better time. You know, than now to share this type of art and uh, just a little escape. I'm really proud of like the entire team. You know, um, I feel I feel really confident about my work personally, but everybody involved has done a, an unreal job at realizing this idea and helping bring it to life in a way that's I'm having a hard time believing is like as accurate to the final you know, the concept that I had in mind in the beginning. Ultimately, I just hope everyone takes something away from it and enjoys it and hopefully we can uh, celebrate that the way we'd like to together soon. Enjoy this thing uh, and we'll see you out there.